having self-confidence at work, you know, being sure that you're adding a lot of value to your team, that your opinions, ideas and solutions are being listened to and most importantly, you are happy and unafraid to share them is huge. Having self-confidence makes working life a lot more enjoyable and rewarding. Learn short-term tips and the best guaranteed way I know for how to boost your self-confidence at work. Self-confidence has to be built. You know, no one is born being really confident. So don't worry if you feel you are less confident than a lot of people around you. At school and university, I felt one, like one of the least socially confident people out of my friends. You know, I hated speaking in front of groups, even really small ones. All those people that appear more confident than you have been exactly where you are now at some point in their lives. You can become very confident, as confident as the most confident person you know. You just have to work at it as hard as they have. To help you with how to boost your self-confidence at work, I'm sharing firstly five short-term tips and techniques to boost your confidence at work, and secondly how to get to success to boost your confidence at work is a process. A lot of the short-term tips are mental changes of perspective or mental exercises which you can put into practice immediately and start to feel more confident within days. Others are longer term or will take at least some work. Here are the five short-term tips and techniques to boost your confidence at work. Firstly, be really clear on what you have control over and what you don't have control over and judge your progress on what you can control. For example, you absolutely have control over how you hold yourself. You know, stand up straight and tall and to look confident. You mostly have control over speaking up in meetings. You don't have so much control over what tasks you're assigned by your boss. Always focus on measuring your improving self-confidence in the areas you can control and do your best not to judge yourself in areas you can't control. Secondly, focus on the positives to boost your self-confidence at work. Yet our brains are designed to be brilliant filters. We have so much stimulus from our environment that our brain has to filter out most of it so our brain can actually function properly. You can control what it filters. Research has proven that if you look for the good things, the positives, your brain will filter out more of the negatives and vice versa. It is easy to get trapped in a doom loop if you focus on the negatives. Keep asking yourself positive questions like, you know, what did I do well? What went well? What was successful? Keep yourself focused on the positives and you'll find more positives, a great way of building self-confidence. Thirdly, mentally picture your success to boost your self-confidence. You know, picture yourself speaking to a small group with a clear, confident voice. Picture them laughing at your joke, of them nodding and being attentive throughout, hanging off your words. Imagine your emotions and physical feelings in your body. Your nerves are there, but they are no big deal. Don't imagine this once, do it over and over again. When you are actually speaking to a small group, it is just one more visualization exercise, no big deal. Athletes, speakers, and all those that need to perform under pressure use this technique a lot. It works brilliantly. Fourth, don't keep comparing yourself to those around you that appear more confident. Instead, compare yourself to where you were a week ago or a month ago. You know, look for the improvements, small and large. Congratulate yourself on your progress. Remain determined to continue doing what is working to gain even better progress. This mental approach is a real confidence booster. Use it often. Fifth, to boost your self-confidence at work, dress well. You know, take care of how you present yourself and aim to look similar to those at least a level above you. you know, for instance, dress and present yourself like the well-dressed manager level above you. Feeling good about how you look helps boost your self-confidence. You can also work on how you hold yourself, i.e. You know, stand tall. You can work on how you use your voice, you know, clear, confident, with good pace and pitch and volume. The more confident you appear, the more confident people around you will be in you. Do use the fake it until you make it approach. Most of these actions are mental exercises you can put into practice straight away. You know, it does take some work to keep doing these exercises. Don't give up, keep at it and you will build your self-confidence.
My name is Jess Coles, and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources, and courses, teaching you how to be a great manager and build high-performing teams. If you are a manager, there is nothing better to boost your self-confidence than investing in your skills and learning how to give better feedback, delegate more effectively, be good at setting expectations and saying no, managing difficult employees, etc. Visit us at enhance.training and take a look at all the courses we have to boost your self-confidence. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Next, let's cover the best way I know to become more confident. How to achieve success to boost your confidence at work is a process. Being successful is one of the best ways to build self-confidence that I know. Becoming successful does take work, the right mindset, perseverance and determination. Start small with what you want to become successful in. And you can start anywhere. You know, for example, setting yourself the goal to contribute one idea or suggestion in each team meeting. You could then ask your boss about the agenda for the next meeting. You could think about a problem that you or a colleague has. Come up with a practical idea to make that problem smaller or remove it. Then share the problem and solution in the team meeting. The praise and appreciation you get will be a great confidence boost. Then keep doing these steps and soon it will not be long before you're sharing more than one idea or suggestion across a number of different meetings. Start with cultivating a growth mindset or learning mindset. A growth mindset is a way of thinking, a mental discipline, a habit and a reflex to recognize and find opportunities for learning from every situation, from success and from failure. People with a learning mindset believe, at the core of their being, that when they work to learn and improve, they will keep getting better. Research has shown that people who cultivate a growth mindset are more successful. With more success, you'll boost your self-confidence. When you start learning anything, you will experience failures and setbacks. You know, this is totally normal and part of the learning process. To get good at anything, you have to pick yourself up and try again. Do this again and again, and providing you're learning throughout, you will get good. Success creates self-confidence. Those that stop when they fail don't become as successful or as confident. Learn to respond to failures and setbacks by trying again. Third, set yourself goals and work towards specific achievements. Don't set goals that are too far ahead. It is much better to regularly reach goals and then reset them, rather than having a big goal that takes ages to reach. It is much more motivational to regularly reach goals and milestones. Yet I am much more motivated looking back on all the goals that I've achieved rather than constantly thinking about a big goal that I haven't reached yet. I'm sure you will be too. Fourth, the most important part of being successful and building your confidence, turn thoughts into action. Without taking action, you won't get further along towards being successful and building your self-confidence. Take action. Finally, do make the time to list out all the things that you've achieved at work, you know, small to large. You know, literally write them down in a notebook and then make the time to look back over them each week or month. Doing this is really inspirational and certainly gives you a lot of self-confidence. Writing down your achievements is also super useful when it comes to preparing for annual assessments or writing your CV too. I hope you put these tips into action and boost your self-confidence at work. Being self-confident is brilliant for reaching more of your potential. Do put in the work to become self-confident at work. You'll never regret the time spent. So in summary, boosting your self-confidence at work will help increase your contribution to your team, plus help make you happier at work, and as a result, you'll be more successful. Being more successful will help further boost your self-confidence at work. Keep working at becoming more self-confident. As a reminder, here are five short-term actions for how to boost your self-confidence at work. Firstly, focus on what you have control over, not what you don't have control over. Secondly, look for and focus on the positives. Third, mentally picture yourself being successful again and again. Fourth, focus on your progress and don't compare yourself to others. Fifth, dress well and hold yourself tall and confident. Fake it until you make it. And here are five steps to become successful in most activities, which is a brilliant way to improve your confidence at work. Firstly, cultivate a growth mindset. Secondly, respond to failures and setbacks by trying again. Third, set yourself goals that you can achieve soon. 
Fourth, turn thoughts into actions. And then fifth, write down your successes and achievements and review them each week or month. Above all, keep working at being more successful in the areas that matter to you. If you have any questions on how to boost your self-confidence at work, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to take a look at the additional resources in the description below, which you will find useful. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.